Hey, my name is Jobby, and we're taking a look at the Toy World Metal T-Rex Beast General. This tiny guy is a third-party version of the Transmetal Megatron from Beast Wars. And he's so small because he was made in the Legends class scale. So small that he fits in the palm of Kang Toys Ferocious. Usually, I'm not one to collect Legends class figures. I don't even like the Transmetal Megatron design as much as the Season 1 look. But this figure, at least the idea of it, was super nostalgic to me because the original toy was a childhood favorite. Just update the sculpting, add some modern articulation sensibilities, and make sure everything is solid. Oh. Uh... I'll link in the description if you want to buy this for yourself. I'd be surprised after this video. I will say, though, that the sculpting here is pretty much perfection. Super show accurate, the exact update that I was looking for to the original toy. The amount of detail present is really impressive for such a small toy. And to my knowledge, yes, the imperfect back is also show accurate. I gotta give a special mention for the head sculpt. This is a spitting image of that CG model. I'm obligated at this point to say that I can could almost hear David K's succulent <laughs> voice coming out of it. You even get alternate heads, one smirking face that is almost identical to the default head, and a serious face. So the sculpting's really nice, but the painting could use a little bit of work. The finish on the main body is actually excellent, that chest in particular. You don't see this kind of glossy finish anywhere else. But I would have preferred if the brown parts were more of a shiny bronze. Other than that, both the painting and sculpting are pretty dang good. But as we've learned through six years of doing this, Frickin' job. Looks aren't everything. Not only are his arms and legs ridiculously loose, he utterly fails the shape test. And what I mean by that is, the mode doesn't want to keep together even under duress, just like myself. <laughs> It's been a rough couple of months, forgive my long hiatus. You might be able to do some modifications for this tab to ah, stick together, but forget about the back panel. Needless to say, this guy feels like kind of a disaster, but I'll give him this. He's satisfyingly heavy for his size due to some die cast metal. You can tell which parts are metal just by the way they look. Nice and cold as you'd expect. And that's all well and good, insert reference to die cast construction being a lost art, but a nice heft and a hell of a lot of articulation doesn't mean diddly shit if he could barely stand up. Unlike other third-party Transformers I've reviewed, the die-cast metal here only adds weight and nothing else. No added stability, no added fun factor, just a hefty, floppy mess! I mean, you do get additional fun by way of some accessories. Rubber duckies just like he had in a show? Not like they can interact with the figure in any way, they're just here for fan service. Don't lose them, they're freaking tiny. And a cool but unfamiliar sword. And from my experience, the ball joints being die cast metal is gonna make it harder to modify it to get it tight. I don't think a dab of super glue or a dab of floor polish is gonna help you here. But if one of you smarties in the comments finds out how to tighten die cast metal ball joints, let me know. But it gets worse. The figure can't even be consistently floppy. There's some areas like this bicep swivel that are too... Tight. Same with the wrist swivel, fuck you. He could barely stand up normally, let alone in an action pose. The amount of blood, sweat, and cum that went into these pictures. I hope you're fucking grateful. Yeah, okay. If you really miss me that much, why don't you go ahead and check out my second channel, Jobby2. I'm there a lot more often than here on the main channel, and I stream every Monday and Friday night. So if you want to feel like you have friends for two or three hours, go ahead and check out my live streams. This figure doesn't bode well for my perception of the Toy World Company, the brilliant minds behind the highly anticipated Freedom Leader, which I will review as soon as I get it. Stop crying, Goo Goo Gaga bitch. But at least the T-Rex mode is decent. That's a super tight fit. Good luck getting it apart without a part separator.
instructions were short and easy to follow, and the transformation was pretty simple and very similar to the original toy. And the mode itself is practically identical to the original toy, but with a more show accurate head sculpt. And I gotta tell you, this mode is the best thing about the whole figure. He looks great, they really nailed that purple chrome here. I still say the brown should have been a shiny bronze. It really doesn't do the T-Rex mode any favors. Still looks good though. And he holds up a lot better than the robot mode. Nothing wants to untab here. Even the tail, which I was surprised at because the connection here just seems like hanging on a thread. But nope, that ass is solid. There's something about the size of the figure that makes this mode unintentionally adorable. And he's got a decent amount of articulation for a beast mode of this size. The feet can fold up to activate these roller skates just like in the show and the original toy. No actual wheels here, which allows him to stand up with these feet. And you can lift up the thrusters, but also pose them all around. They even got spinning vents. Beautiful. I suppose Toy World put their rubber duckies in one basket when they should have included them in all the baskets. The robot mode is unforgivably bad. Looks good, don't get me wrong, but very disappointing, especially with the amount of hype that you guys built up for it. That's not to say never hype up anything for me. I'm just pointing out the facts here. At Javi the Hong on Twitter if you want to keep me up to date with toy news. This figure is only really good for photo ops and not much else. And you know, I get it. The figure's tiny. Maybe it's a bit of a challenge to get all the engineering to work at this scale. But um, no, 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 not worth fifty dollars at all. Save your fucking money. Let it accumulate into the hundreds, and maybe we'll be able to get a properly scaled and solid, ratchety, beautiful version of Transmetal Megatron down the line. One of you third-party companies has got to get in on this. Maybe Jiang Qing or whoever's making that skateboard gorilla, which I'll also review. Just wait. But as it is, I don't think I'll ever get another third-party Legends class figure ever again. Don't even fucking look at me if it's under five inches. Jobby the Hong, you mentally deficient troglodyte. Oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> yes, I hope you're doing all right. What? No, no, seriously. I, uh, I hope you're doing all right. It's, it's a incredibly anxious time for a lot of people because no one knows anything. And if they say they do know something or anything, they don't know anything. It's just, yeah, it's stressful, man. So I, I hope you are all uh, great. Uh, Jobby, uh, you're doing a great... You're doing a great jobby of uh, keeping people <laughs> occupied, and it's fantastic. It's funny. It's it's awesome. And uh, what better way to uh, to while away the time and to uh, forget about things for a while and uh, to play with our uh, play with our toys, huh? It's fantastic. So uh, hey, man, all the best to you and to everyone out there. Uh, please stay safe, be well. Yeah, there's another side to this. There is. Just keep positive and uh, keep doing your thing. All right, love you all. Some, that's some. Beautiful words. Thank you very much for that. Can you say put it in my ass? Hmm, no.